Good morning, good morning, good morning, and Happy New Year to everybody. This is Cheryl with Cheryl Knows, and I know I've been missing in action for quite some time, but it's okay. It's a new year, a new start, a fresh start, so I'm going to get back on it. I do want to show you a couple of things that I sold in the last few days. I would love to go out hunting today, however, we're getting snow. That's my skylight. Normally you can see clear, but not today. Did I mention snow? Anywho, I did run a sale on each of my stores the last couple of days. Um, so I just want to show you a couple of things. I ran a sale just to do a clearance. Um, I've got over 600 items on one of my sites and I'm trying to get that cleared out so I can get some more stuff. But anywho, and some of it I've had for a while. Uh, this is a, um, it's actually an audio book. It's called Who's Pushing Your Buttons? Handling the Difficult People in Your Life. And I sold it for $15.99. It is brand new. I do have shipping on it. The next thing I sold was the complete seventh and final season of the Golden Girls. Um, I had it listed for thirteen ninety nine with free shipping on it. Cause like I said, I was running a a sale. Uh, I, somebody offered. Well, actually, with the twenty percent, it came to eleven nineteen free shipping. Someone bought it like right after Betty Betty White died. God rest her soul. I have some other um, Golden Girls, some of the other seasons. So uh, once they immediately bought this and once she died, I went ahead and I um, took the price up <laughs> on the others. So none of the others will sell for $11. But I'm still glad for the sale. I paid $2 for it. And this book, History of the Reform Zion Union Apostolic Churches of America, I listed this book in April of 2021. And it sold a day or so ago for, well, this weekend, for $29.59. I think I paid a dollar for it. Um... I've got to find it. It's uh, My storage is not the most organized. As a matter of fact, it's disorganized. But that's something I plan to take care of uh, actually by the end of this month, getting it organized so I can be more efficient, more effective on what I'm doing. But um, I do have some items in the house. It's not in the house. So I will check my storage, but I can't check it today because, like I said, it's snowing. And, you know, in Virginia, we don't know how to drive in the snow. So, but that's still a good price for something I paid a dollar for. This is a board game. I've had this thing probably for two years. I paid a dollar for it a long time ago. And uh, this is part of my uh, free shipping sale. So, it sold for $15.29 free shipping. And this is a mini music box. It's called A Cup of Christmas Cheer. And I took a $20 offer plus shipping on it. Once the person made the offer, then they asked a million questions on it. I was like, why didn't you ask your questions before you offered me money? So I finally, they asked so many questions. I told them, hey, let's go ahead and cancel this. And then they were like, oh, no, I'm going to get it. And they finally paid for it. So I'm going to ship it. Uh, I got this at a yard sale this summer. Paid a dollar. Hopefully it won't come back to me. Now, this is a leaky universal tub stopper and drain protector. I got this at the Amazon liquidation store. I paid 50 cents for it. I actually have some more of them. I think I have two or three more, and I uh, it sold for eleven dollars and sixty one cent free shipping. It was also in my sale. 
I know I have at least two more. 50 cent into 11, not bad. This hospital style nasal aspirator. <laughs> I paid 50 cent for that as well. And I sold it for $6.99. Clean out the little kitty's nostrils. Brand new, of course. This Wilson Staff Elite Soft White 12 Pack of Golf Balls. New open box. I paid a dollar for it at a yard sale. And I, it was in the free shipping sale, uh, $17.99. Not bad. This is a vintage Whisper 2000. Helps amplify hearing. Um, I think I paid, I paid a dollar for this at a yard sale. Of course, back in the summer. It appeared to be pre-owned, but in good condition. And I sold it for $17.91. So not bad. Now I've had the Spider-Man Squishmallow. I don't know. Probably about a month or so. I did pay $19 for it. I took an offer of $38. It was in that free shipping sale. Um, the only unfortunate thing about it is that, um, well, I mean, I got my money back, doubled it basically, but it was shipping to Puerto Rico, so, and it's heavier than what I thought, so it actually went priority. I think I paid about $9 to ship it, so it's all good. I got my money back and almost doubled it, so I can deal with that, and plus I saved it because my granddaughter tried to take it. But I didn't let her. It was too late. It had already sold before she spotted it. <laughs> so all of the previous items that I listed before, they all sold on eBay. I recently started selling on Macari just to, you know, to branch out some. And it's, it's, it hasn't been bad. I paid 50 cent for this anime happy birthday uh, banner thingy. I had to get my niece to tell me what it was. Um, and I took a $26 offer on it, plus shipping. This four DVD workout set, I got this for free. I took a $12 offer on it, plus shipping. I've sold a couple of video games, including this Lego Pirates of the Caribbean video game, Xbox 360. I took a $12 offer on it, and uh, plus shipping, of course. And this is a game I've had forever. My biggest sale to date on this app, on Macari, has been this vintage ladies Gucci purse. A friend of mine gave it to me. Um, I took an offer of $108 plus shipping. And, of course, with it being such a, you know, a higher-priced item, I was like, hope they like it. But thank God they loved it. Last but not least, my final sale that I'll highlight, and this one actually sold on eBay. It's a 1977 Marvel comic book, Daredevil, The Man Without Fear. And that was in my 20% sale, and I... Sold that for $11.19. I have a ton of comic books. I'm just trying to get rid of them. Trying to get rid of a lot of stuff. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to show you a few things that I've sold recently. Um, and like I said, I've got to get back into to doing this more on a regular basis. Um, if you enjoy my videos, be sure to go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below. Let me know which was your favorite item that I highlighted. Um, hit that notification bell so that you'll know when I'm doing a video. Again, this is Cheryl with Cheryl Knows. And I am saying on this beautiful snowy morning and Happy New Year, have a great day on purpose. On purpose. Cheryl out.